She can't say. John Taffer was caught fighting this bar owner. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe, 10 to smart shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Film Tidal. John Taffer often deals with a lot of bar rescue and sometimes it's just too much. We don't blame him for getting a bit angry as the people he has to meet and talk to can more often than not even get to the audience, even though the audience isn't even directly facing them in real life. Pirates Tavern. That is a idiot. If you think of pirates when you see Pirates Tavern, you're right. It is an actual tavern with a pirate theme and the employees have pirate get-ups on as well. It definitely seemed to be a cheaper version of Pirates of the Caribbean. John tried his best and suggested changing the atmosphere of the tavern to a more welcoming one that would have a dress code without piked headwear. Neither the owner nor the employees were interested and all of them wanted the mayhem that was associated with the pirate theme. Taffer was genuinely astonished because he thought employees would not want to continue being laughed at and when an employee said he would leave if the changes were implemented, one could see that John really had to restrain himself and his fists before he initiated something physical. Bacon Bar It seems that John likes his bacon as there are other bars where he has formed a bacon themed menu. In this instance, he even came up with a new name that had the word bacon in it as he sincerely believes that bacon is one of man's greatest blessings. The whole episode had Taffo seemingly extremely annoyed with the bar and himself and even though he tried to remain calm, the owner and him seemed to be at odds. Taffo went so far as to say that he wanted to puke on the owner and even the employees and when the owner responded with some choice words, John was simply not going to tolerate it anymore. Portland's Tonic You know what sounds like an introduction to a catastrophic episode? John being welcomed by one of the most dreadful bands he had ever seen and a completely vacant room. Taffa started by steadily operating on the brand of the bar and his whole vibe and even replaced the name of the panic room. Taffa got extremely angry when he found out that it was the employees who were responsible for destroying the bar's reputation due to the fact that they used obscene language when answering calls. He really exploded in front of them and there was intense screaming involved. This whole scenario ended with Taffer going out to catch his breath and cool down. These employees should thank their lucky stars that Taffer has the temperament he does because his volcanic anger could have frightened anyone to their very core. The Sandbar The audience knows one thing for certain, that is, Mrs. Taffer is someone who you just don't mess with. During an effort to transform this deteriorating jazz bar into a place that customers would actually be interested in visiting, Taffer had to tolerate a very annoying OBGYN owner. In the beginning, his words weren't too extreme and Taffer dealt with him like he usually does in such instances, but the comments were becoming more and more explicit. The tipping point came when the owner made a suggestive remark about Taffer's wife, and it is entirely plausible that if the camera wasn't on, a serious fight would have started. Taffer's facial expressions were something to behold, and it was imminent that fists would have started flying. Canyon Inn What can a man do when he tries his most to offer someone his help, but they simply won't accept what you have to say. Taffer dealt with a couple of extremely unreasonable owners in Canyon Inn. They claimed that his ideas were terrible and were even serving customers canned soup. It seems impossible that someone would say that please don't serve canned soup is a horrendous idea. I mean, it is. Taffer was a bit irritated and justifiably so as all his ideas were getting rejected. This is understandable. And when they said they would not stop serving the soup, Taffer got mad. However, instead of using his hands like everyone expected him to, he simply left. Underground Wonder Bar In this particular instance, it's possible that Taffer may be the one who's at fault. The Underground Wonder Bar had become a huge musical place over almost 20 years, until they shifted to a more classy area in Chicago. A bar that was once quite popular had lost all of its pizzazz. Taffer's solution was quite bizarre, as he suggested making the bar change its theme to bacon. Yeah, that's not a fabrication. The glorious wall hangings were gone, and with their loss, so had the culture. The vegan owner had to sell bacon and play average music. Taffer seemed angry when she confronted him about all of this. The original hideout, a story of two brothers with a massive amount of debt and Taffer trying to rescue them. Could something go wrong? If you've seen a lot of bar rescue, you've probably guessed it. Taffer's help was disregarded and the brothers spoke their minds. In most cases, Taffer would give them a chance and listen, but these guys having no chance of survival and being rude at the same time weren't too much for Taffer. He was really close to giving one of the owners a tight slap. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos out on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.